Hello, I will be predicting using interpolation and extrapolation from a previous video where I've shown how to create the best fit line using technology. So please go back and watch the video on scatter plots and creating this best fit line using LinReg t test. Now, in that previous video, I've made this scatter plot using the data shown here on TV and ice cream. TV is in hours and ice cream is in pounds, and this is over a 12 week period of time. Interpolation is when you're predicting inside of the observed x values. The x values go with this column, so I can think of anything there. The y values will go with ice cream. TV, it ranges from the lowest value of 35 to the highest observed value of 200. So 35 to 200 is the range of our x values. So if we're within 35 to 200, that is interpolation. And if we're on the outside of the observed x values, this is called extrapolation. And then I'll talk about reasonable and reliable and unreasonable and unreliable in a little bit. So using our equation here, highlighted in green, what would be the predicted amount of ice cream consumed for someone who watched 90 hours of TV? So y hat will be our predicted y value for someone that watched 90 hours of TV. Now I'm rewriting my equation and instead of x, I will be placing in a value of 90 hours of TV. I will be placing 90 in that spot. So now I'll just go to my calculator, negative 0.6274 plus 0 0.0226 multiplied by 90. And you end up with a predicted value of 1.4066. Now this is a Y value, which relates to ice cream. So this would be pounds of ice cream for the units. Now 90, 90 falls within the observed x values. So this is interpolation. And with interpolation, this is considered reasonable and reliable. Okay, now first let's talk about reliable. It is reliable because you are close to the observed x values. 90 is close to the observed x values, so it is a reliable prediction. Now reasonability, it's reasonable, we look at our y value. Now is 1.4 pounds of ice cream reasonable? If you look at this column, 1.4 is reasonable. So it's a reasonable solution. So we would call that reasonable and a reliable solution. And that comes from interpolation, predicting within the observed x values. Okay, let's do another one. What would be the predicted amount of ice cream consumed for someone who watched 10 hours of TV? So I'm going to rewrite my equation, y hat equals negative 0.6274 plus 0 0.0226 multiplied by, now my new x value is 10 hours, so I am placing 10 in here in place of my x. So then I'll show you a trick on the calculator. You can hit second enter and it rewrites everything we already did. So then I can just use my arrow and type in 10. Now y hat equals negative 0 0.4014, and this is pounds of ice cream. And can you have negative pounds of ice cream consumed? That doesn't make sense, right? So I'm putting question marks, it doesn't make sense. So let's go back and think about this. Well. 10 hours of TV, is that interpolation or extrapolation? So going back here, 10, if you think about 10, is not within that observed x value range. So that would tell me that I'm using extrapolation. Okay, so I have extrapolation. In this example, this gave me a very unreasonable solution. This is unreasonable. Right? It didn't even make sense. It's unreasonable. And that value of 10, 
using 10 is unreliable. So we have unreliable and unreasonable for this example. Predicting in this case did not make sense. It did not work out well because we were using extrapolation. But sometimes extrapolation will work out. So let's do another example. So what would the, be the predicted amount of ice cream consumed for someone who watched 300 hours of TV? So I'll put in y hat and I will put negative 0.6274 plus 0 0.0226 times and 300 now goes in the place of x, right? x relates to the TV hours. So 300 goes in. So using my trick, I'll do second enter and I'll change that 10 to 300 and I get y hat is equal to 6.1526 and this is pounds of ice cream. So now 300, let's think about 300. Is 300 within the predicted x values? So think about 300. 300 goes well beyond 200, and 200 is the max. So it's not within. So this is actually extrapolation again. So we have extrapolation here. So we know from extrapolation, using 300, this is going to be unreliable. So it's unreliable because using 300, which is very far away from the data, and because it's so far away from the data that you're using, like it's not within the observed data, it's unreliable when we make our guess. We want to think about this y value. Is this y value reasonable? Yes, this is reasonable. Thinking back to that table, right? Six pounds. Now it's pretty hot on the high side, but it is physically possible. Just nobody in our observed data watched that much TV and ate that much ice cream. Okay, let's do another one. So what would be the predicted amount of ice cream consumed for someone who watched 130 hours of TV? So y hat equals negative 0.6274 plus 0 0.0226 times 130. So 130 is my x value that I've replaced in my equation. And then I will use second enter to retype everything. And I will replace 300 with 130 and you get 2.3106 and we know that this is pounds of ice cream. Now let's think about 130. Is 130 within that range on the table? So going back, think of 130. 130 does fall within, so we know that we have used interpolation. So this is interpolation and because we've used interpolation we know that well, this answer was reasonable, and it will be a reliable prediction because 130 is within the observed values, so we know that our equation is reliable within those observed values. Thank you for watching.